war, pandemic, inflation. The year 2022 is not exactly presenting its most generous side. The fact that the past months embodied the exact opposite for the world of astronomical research seems all the more remarkable. A few weeks ago, we were able to marvel at the first breathtaking images of the James Webb Telescope, which provide us with a foretaste of all the cosmic secrets that will soon be unraveled. In addition, researchers were able to detect the most distant and thus oldest known galaxy. But that's not all. The oldest known star was also identified recently and added to the space maps. Find out more about the discovery of Irandel and what we have learned so far about the glistening bright celestial body in today's video. Excited about the groundbreaking discoveries and breathtaking spectacles in the cosmos? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell for regular updates on these exciting topics. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Stellar Sensation In the beginning was the Big Bang. According to the standard cosmological model, space, time, and matter emerged from an original singularity about 13.8 billion years ago. Although the term Big Bang seems extremely martial, it was not a spectacular explosion in an existing space. Because in fact, space only came into being in the context of the birth of the cosmos. Just 900 million years after the Big Bang, a star in a distant galaxy began to shine brightly. And indeed, a few months ago, astronomers succeeded in adding just that relic from the early days of the cosmos to the star charts. Besides the scientific name, WHL0137-LS, the celestial body is also known by the catchier name, Irandel. This word has its roots in Old English and translates as rising light or morning star. But how is it possible to discover such an old celestial body in the vastness of the cosmos? Well, usually the answer to this question is, not at all. Since such old stars have already lost large parts of their original luminosity, it's in most cases impossible to identify them, unless the experts have a natural helper. In detail, we mean the fascinating gravitational lensing effect, which has made many an object visible that would otherwise have eluded our terrestrial eyes forever. Albert Einstein predicted this exciting phenomenon back in the 1930s. And in the meantime, we know that the world-famous physicist has been proven right. In essence, the gravitational lensing effect is the deflection of light by large masses. That means the light of a more distant source, like for example that of a star, is influenced by an object apparently in front of it the gravitational lens. The closer the light rays pass the mass, which is foregrounded for the observer, the stronger they are also deflected towards the mass. However, the gravitational lens is not capable of producing a real image. The corresponding light distribution is rather a so-called caustic. In fact, this phenomenon can also be accompanied by the generation of multiple images. This is why the so-called Einstein cross greets us four times from the firmament, although it's actually just a quasar in the constellation Pegasus. Radiant Giant In the recent research past, the gravitational lensing effect has also been used to detect single distant stars. However, for a long time, this stellar tracking was subject to a kind of fixed limit. Anything more than 9 billion light years from Earth was beyond our view. This distance between Arendel and our blue home planet is therefore all the more remarkable. The light emitted from Arendel took an incredible 12.9 billion years to reach our terrestrial eye. Taking into account the constant expansion of the cosmos, the celestial body would not be 12.9, but 28 billion light years away from us. Fortunately, a cluster of galaxies in the foreground amplified the starlight thousands of times so that its source could be detected on the Hubble Space Telescope images. But what were the scientists able to find out about this most distant single star? It's considered likely that the researchers have awakened a true stellar giant. The original mass of Arendel might have exceeded that of our Sun at least 50 times. However, the conclusion 
is that these enormous dimensions were its doom. Urendal probably exploded just a few years after its birth in the course of a supernova. However, the isolated star still holds many riddles to be solved in the course of future research. The James Webb Telescope will continue and deepen its observation of Urendal in the coming months. One of the questions to be answered is whether the celestial body may once have belonged to a double system. Although not very likely, it's also conceivable that Urendal embodied a star of the so-called Population 3. This means that it was largely composed of the original helium and hydrogen that came from the Big Bang. Oldest Galaxies From ancient individual stars to even older galaxies, during 2022, experts managed to discover not one, but two of the oldest known collections of stars. The first cosmic glimpse into the past leads us to HD1. As announced on April 7th in the Astrophysical Journal, this galaxy was formed 330 million years after the birth of the cosmos. Before HD1 was added to the star maps, however, a lot of research had to be completed. The object had to be located in a collection of 700,000 other astronomical formations. 1,200 observation hours later, it was clear that we were indeed dealing with one of the oldest known structures ever. However, this breathtaking discovery was also to be accompanied by some big questions. In detail, HD1 emits an unexpectedly strong ultraviolet radiation. This circumstance suggests that extremely energetic processes are taking place in the remote galaxy, or rather took place, because after all, we see HD1 as it presented itself 13.5 billion years ago. But which backgrounds could underlie the conspicuous radiation? In this regard, scientists can only speculate at the moment. On the one hand, it's conceivable that the UV radiation can be attributed to a high rate of star formation. In contrast to younger stars, the glistening celestial bodies from the primeval times of the cosmos were significantly hotter and heavier, which would explain the extreme radiation values. Another explanation is based on the fact that the center of HD1 was formed by a supermassive black hole. Meanwhile, we know that this is true for nearly every galactic heart. Our Milky Way with Sagittarius A star is no exception. As is well known, the incomparably compact formations are known for their insatiable hunger. As a result of the gigantic amounts of gas consumed by the black hole in HD1, high-energy photons could have been released in its immediate vicinity, which accompanied the measured UV radiation. To be able to explain the corresponding values, the gravity monster would have to have exceeded the mass of our Sun by a factor of 120 million. If this thesis is confirmed in future investigations, the researchers would have found the most distant and thus oldest quasar so far, that is, an active galactic nucleus. And in this case too, the experts' hopes rest once again on the future use of the James Webb Space Telescope. Designed specifically for infrared astronomy, Webb is made to study the earliest luminous formations in the universe. Glass Z13 As just mentioned, HD1 formed about 330 million years after the Big Bang. Thanks to the first images from the James Webb Telescope, we know that the galaxy Glass Z13 had already been greeting us from the firmament for 30 million years at that time making it the current record holder in the oldest star assemblage category. Accordingly, the near cam of the $10 billion instrument gave us a breathtaking glimpse into galactic prehistory. But that's not all. In the course of the evaluation of the first web deep field, Glass C11, 100 million years younger, was identified in addition to Glass C11. The analysis of the light spectrum again provided some exciting insights into these ancient formations. Accordingly, we know that both galaxies harbor about 1 billion solar masses of stars each and extend over lengths of 1,600 to 2,300 light years, respectively. What at first seems like unimaginably large dimensions turns out to be surprisingly small when compared with younger galaxies. The size of our home Milky Way, for example, is given as more than 17,000 light years. The experts were all the more surprised by the fact that Glass C11 and 13 were extremely active despite their relatively small size. Just as in the case of HD1, extreme UV radiation should be registered. Prior to the discovery of Glass C11, 
Scientists had suspected that such early stellar assemblies were lumpy and chaotic, but the detailed investigation showed that even the most renowned astronomers can be wrong. In fact, the spectrum studied suggests that the primordial galaxy had the characteristic disk shape that we find in so many of its younger counterparts. However, in order to reveal the background of the fascinating stellar collections, the collection of further data is indispensable. Indeed, experts point out that the knowledge gained so far is based on the first deep field images from a completely new type of space telescope, which is why errors cannot be completely ruled out at this time. However, since the galactic light signatures were detected very clearly in all filter channels of the NIRCAM, the experts are optimistic that their basic explanations are consistent with reality. Now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about the exciting discovery of Erendel? And what do you think of the ancient galaxies that were also added to the star charts this year? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.